Oh, the girls are fighting. Let's talk about it. Child, when I tell you sex tape and Lamidia have been going at it, honey, oh my God. So for the past week, there's been like some rumblings on the street with Ray J, you know, saying some things about Lemmy. And I think he also released a video of Lemmy getting his ass beat. So um, yeah, there's been some tension this week. Well, it came to a blow yesterday and it all started with Ray J saying this. I like when suckers like Lemon Pepper try to remove the truth. This dude is worse than Weinstein. You making it worse. I already have the videos to put you out of biz. They are on the way, Lemon Pepper. I just watched some stuff you did that's shameful. You need a public whipping. I'm not talking cars. Next week gonna be tough for you, Lemon Pepper. You know how you be shaking your legs all weird and fast all the time? You gonna need a wheelchair after the world really sees you in real form. Everybody at Zeus who's been handled disrespectfully by you personally should quit now. Come to Tronics. Oh? And then Ray J posts Lemon Pepper footage live at 8 p.m. on Tronics Network HQ. Well, 10 Piece did not like what Ray J had to say, so he does a story post doing a countdown to the 8 p.m. live, and he tags Ray J and says, Hey, buddy. Then he posts a clip from an interview on The Breakfast Club of him praising Lemmy and Zeus. Let's watch. Zeus Network. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's super popping. Shout out to, to Lemmy because he's the one that's got his network now. It's popping. And it's, it's beautiful because, you know what I'm saying, it's black owned and, and everybody can eat in a different way from the producing side and from the ownership side. So now, you got equity in Zeus? No, you get equity in your show. You know what I'm saying? saying? And I think they're at a level now where I don't know if they're going to probably offer that anymore because now it's, it's, it's expanding to the point now where they can just put out a lot of shows. <laughs> just quality shows. So I'm proud of Zeus Network and Lemmy and shout out to them. Yeah. Okay, so he gave Lamidia all the flowers. Then he posts a photo with a heart. Uh, with one wish in the background, then captions the photo. Dear Willie Ray Jr. Sis, please stop with all the cap for Clout Bay. This is not the way to build your network. I thought I advised you better. I know you miss me and Zeus terribly. Let me know when you're ready to come home. Love you, Buki. Not Buki. Then Lemmy says... Ray J, we get the marketing stunts that you're trying to pull for your network, but all jokes aside, I really have my network to run, and we're running our own race. Consider this my first and final response. We wish you nothing but the best. AKA, they wish you nothing but the worst. So then Ray J responds to Lemmy's post. Who is working for your PR, Lemon Pepper? They suck. This is not your first response. This is your first one you are trying to make work. The first one had several disrespectful slurs to it. I talked to my team over at the Gagency, and the CEO said that was disrespectful to the community because you thought you were shitting on me by calling me Buki and her. Now you got a real problem with the Gagency. You are a coward, and you will be forgotten and marked as a woman beater and a punk. Thief clown. I will make sure you are remembered in the worst way. Lamidia, a STD worse than a plague, a real goofy, the heifery Epstein of our community, and that is the stupid chick that was just as worse. You and your family is trash. Get your brother LJ on video smoking crack with a crackhead chick, making a fool of himself. Oh? He then responds to the marketing stunt accusations. How dare you make jokes when I'm talking about women being abused and manipulated? Where's the positive message to shut that shit down? And then eight o'clock comes around, and Ray J puts Lemmy on Front Street. He shows a receipt that is very suspect. Let's watch. I, I can't even see. Hey, where the picture at? Black and white, blur it. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, Lemmy, that's you. That's your hand. You about to slap her. Hey, show the color of it to Lemmy right here so he know what Day this is. This is just one video, Lemmy. I'm just reminding you of what you did. And you was foul for this, bro. I got more, but I'm just I'm gonna remind you like of what you did while I'm trying to protect the homegirl in the video until she say it's okay too. I don't want her calling me like damn my nigga, you ain't even tell me. Here we go, right there. That's all the color I need. Remember that day? Remember that hand? You remember how you be talking to the girls? Lemmy. You remember that day? Go back to black and white. You, you, I'm gonna give you till to, tonight. Let me to respond to me. I'm this ain't this ain't for the press, boy. This is for you. You remember this night? It's re, it get real bad after this, bro. Not to mention all these other videos I got. These are these are victims, bro. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to protect their privacy and protect like whatever opportunities that they have in front of them that this might affect i have to get certain things clear i was building the case way bigger than this bro and i was just gonna unload like a hundreds of shit but you done yapped and talked and called me bookie and the gagency is mad 
The Gagency is mad, Lemmy. Don't you ever run no gay slur with me and my homies is around from the Gagency trying to make that seem like that, like you dissing me. When a nigga say what's up, Bookie, and they from the Gagency, that shit cool. So what you calling me Bookie for and thinking it ain't? You bitch. The Gagency is on your ass, boy. The Gagency is on your ass calling me Bookie. That ain't Gagency approved. You wasn't approved to come at me like that, slapping women. And then you and then you go back and you say, and then you go back and you say, remember this, remember these lines, right? Bitch, I'll come back there and slap the shit out of you again. You don't remember that. With eight or nine niggas around you, to one woman, you can't, you, 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 you gotta have all these niggas around you for what, Lemmy? Look at your stupid ass, bro. Look how hard you think you are, bro. You is a bitch. And honestly, um, I have tried to go to church and be a better person. So I'm happy that I'm cool. I'm not trying to be tough or nothing. But you, my friend, you're slapping and beating up on women. And you got bouncers from the club behind you. And some of them work at the gay club and they cool. So you disrespecting your bouncers. Some of them niggas is running around at night when they blow the whistle. They come out with socks all over, they dig dancing and shit, and then they come protect you in the morning. Them is, them is some of the homies, them is the agency homies. They don't like you either now. Your ass is in jeopardy! Remember this though, Lemmy. You better be calling me now because once I drop it and they see the physical, they should already know. I guarantee you, boy. Here's what I guarantee you. Here's what I guarantee you. I guarantee you, you know, you know what that is, and then I guarantee you that you're gonna sing another tune. I promise you, there's a there's a bunch of women, there's a bunch of staff members that have worked with you that can relate to the disrespect, the, the verbal abuse, the mental abuse, the physical abuse. I brought you in this game. You're a son of mine that needs a whipping, a public whipping, and a step down, and you can be forgiven in some aspect. But you cannot come back. That's how it goes. I promise you, Lemmy, step down tonight and admit what you did. I'm giving you another chance. This is not a threat. Whack everybody over here, bro. I'm not running no street shit with you, bro. Whack them can't help you, bro. There's nobody street you can call. I got a bunch of my niggas over here right now. That For me to talk about real niggas and you, it don't work. I can't even... They don't even give... This is some... It's some bitch business. She's a bitch. You this is this is this is just me and you, bro. This is just me and you. I'm gonna tell you right now what I'm doing. Just like a nigga that got two tens in poker and you tell you got two tens, you're gonna think he got two aces. You got I, this, I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I was gonna do, but again, I'm gonna give you one more shot to 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 try to explain why you are who you are, how sorry you are, which will still be a lie and that you stepping down. I'm not playing. That video I got right there is just a little bit. Like, I'm not going to play with you and play like you can come and stop this shit and then I can't do it. I have some shit, boy. I'm showing you that that's, I can, that is, you over with that, but you, but you over with that. You don't get your ass beat by some real niggas in LA, bro, if you keep going to the club now. You can't go to the club because real niggas that don't like fake niggas is going to see you. And I'm just going to tell everybody to be peaceful and go home. Everybody should be at peace in life. Nobody don't condone bullying. We don't condone fighting and threats. That's not what this is. I can't help people who know bitch ass niggas. Like now we know you a bitch ass nigga. You getting like you put your hands on MP. You had your security. Knock this nigga out and have him as a, a, a put him in a, in a, in a concussion. You, 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 you put the little homie, you had your security, hit the nigga and knock him out. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a pedophile. He's a punk. You everything in one. Whack right behind me. He was a bitch. Y'all watching on TV with a nigga putting his hands on somebody and really like hurting their feelings and hurting their heart and embarrassing them. For eternal life with what you watching on TV because you don't give them no fucking chance to look better or be better.
Here's why I'm at. And I know I'm rambling. I know I'm rambling, so I'm gonna get off live in a minute. But here's why I'm mad. It's because I'm being I'm being blocked by some stupid legal shit niggas just keep telling me. Like, they, they don't, like just like you tried to block my Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram blocked for like maybe like 10 hours. I'm live now, nigga. See? You see that? I'm live. I still got the chair up for you, Lemmy. You can talk right now. You can come over to my house. And I'll shoot you right now, bro. I don't mean to shoot you like that. Well, if you in my house trespassing, I'll shoot the shit out of you. But here go your chair. You not the Ratchet Shakespeare. You're Lemon Pepper. You're Lamidia. You're Lamidia. You're a disease to the game. You're a disease to the game. You don't got more money than this. You definitely don't got no no real like no, you don't have what you don't have is a plan for all the reality stars and a plan for everybody you working with. Hey, the chef just got here. You don't want nobody to win with y'all on the account of everybody else. Niggas comment and say y'all do all all y'all do the same shit. It's not that. We have the most ratchetest shows on Tronics, but we have some of the most like compelling moments at the end of these shows and leading you into the next opportunity for the for the people we work with. That is, that is, I mean, if, I mean, shit. If Oscars, if they gave Ratchet Reality TV uh, nominations, we get nominated. The Girls Club coming out is one of the dopest shows we got, and in the trans community, the way it is, it's, 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 it's when your story is told correctly. You see it go up and down, and, but then at the end you see this this powerful like message that leads you into the next destination. Y'all can hear me? So shout out to the Girls Club, shout out to Sydney Star, shout out to everybody on that show. Shout out to the Gagency, the Rod, Dumpin' D, um, and then shout out to the homies over here, all the homies over here, you know what I'm saying? Um, and to all the women that's going through this with Lemmy. And going through this with Zeus, um, like we hear you, and we gonna help you, and we gonna help you by removing these niggas, but also we help tell your story, not for profit. I show profit. I, I got money. If I get, if I make everybody rich around me and every reality star gazillionaires, or at least 10, 15, 20 million, like 20, 20 million for every reality star around, like we can get that like fast. Let me making, let me gotta be making what 30, 40 million a month, right? Like that's not a, like 40 M's a month, and I don't know how much y'all getting paid, but that's not enough. I just know he not paying y'all correctly. You know, and if you have 50 and 60 million now, that then you really just a a ding dirtbag, bro. And so when you step down on all the baddies, on everybody, on all, everybody should get a big chunk of equity in Zeus. Ain't gonna do it, Form a coalition and then y'all just run the network yourself because y'all already put in a lot of work. So the network uh, can go just the net because all the shows on the network is us. If you go to Baddies, go to season one, let's play on the first show you ever see on Baddies, and there we are. I was talking to a couple of the girls on the show that I, that came over yesterday. They said we didn't know you did Baddies. And then somebody said Roly was talking shit. I said, I hope not, because Roly was on our show first. Like, we love Roly. We said we told Chance them Roly was right and Mangina. That and that Mangina Roly fight was one of their biggest moments to start. Let alone the fucked up shit you did to Masika and Hazel. Which I got which I'm still trying to do now and bring them together to, to like to like try to tie that shit up in some kind of way. Alright, I said enough. Ooh, well you certainly said a mouthful, honey. A whole mouthful, a thousand mouthfuls. Oh my God, I, oh, that was a lot. And I don't know what to say. <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm literally speechless. This is gonna be one of those things where I'm going to reserve uh, my opinion and judgment until all the facts come out um, because those accusations were pretty ugly. Yeah. But y'all, what do you think about this whole Ray J and Lamidia beef? And who you think that woman is in the picture? Comment down below.